There are a lot of ways to stack precious metals, but do you have a plan and set goals or do you just wing it? Well, we're going to talk about it, so stay tuned. Stack Attackers, how the heck are you? Welcome to another edition of the Silver and Gold Stack Attack, episode number 83. As always, I'd like to thank you for taking a few minutes out of your day to check out the new video, and if you'd like to help support this channel, then uh, why not click on that thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Uh, you guys know the support is humbly appreciated. So, how do you collect and stack your precious metals? Well, since I got in a stack and I've talked to a lot of people who just wing it without much of a plan, um, which is fine. I mean, that, that's what you do. That's what you do. But one trend I notice is uh, this sometimes causes them to make a purchase or 12 that they somewhat regret down the road. Now, that being said, I'm, I know most of you on here aren't like that. I mean, we're all pretty organized from what I've seen and we keep track of what we have. But one of the first things I did back in the day was decide what I was going to stack. Uh, which metals I wanted, which was pretty much everything except palladium, for obvious reasons. And I wanted to set goals. And I think I've done decently with the goal setting. Uh, but like everybody else, I get off track. Uh, I just see that one thing that I have to get, and it's outside of my, uh, my box. But I get it anyway because I really want it. So how do I set my own goals? Well, I'm getting ready to show you. Just bear in mind, this is it's only what I do. It's not right. It's not wrong. It's nothing in between. It's just how I do it personally. Uh, your ways might be much better than mine. By the way, I'm sure you've noticed the uh, the new decal there. Um, the cobra hasn't gone anywhere, folks. The cobra is my uh, that's my spirit animal for this channel, and uh, I love the cobra. It's not going anywhere. Uh, this is just going to be a limited edition, uh, small run of uh, Marine Corps Bulldog stickers uh, that I really wanted to do. They're going to be included in the upcoming uh, channel round. Uh, more, more coming up. More coming up on that later. Uh, but Will from Will's Treasures is actually working on that for me. So uh, I think you'll like it. I think you'll like it. We'll put them up for sale. We'll throw a bunch of swag in there. We'll go from there. Anyway, albums. Albums are a great way to set goals, in my opinion. Uh, once you start one, you're most likely going to be motivated to finish it. Even though some of those key dates can be an absolute biatch. Um... But once you fill one up, you got two things going for you. A, a full set of a coin you really like, and B, a bunch of silver. Um, this Merc album that I've got here, this will add up to about five, I think 5.6 ounces of silver when it's done. Um, it's pretty good stuff. I mean, I can visually see everything that I have here and what I'm missing. So I'm, I'm still missing a few, but we'll get it. We'll get it. But yeah, about 5.6 uh, ounces of silver once that's done. So not too shabby, not too shabby. Um, I was able to collect a set and add to the silver stack all at once with this. So albums, again, are a great way to visually see where you are versus tubes and other containers. And I personally like to see it all organized and lined up. All right, plastic tubes. Now, if you're collecting bullion coins and you don't purchase them by the tube, you probably don't have many. So one thing you can do is see if you can get some from your LCS. Uh, mine gives me as many as I want because, uh, well, I don't typically buy bullion by the tube because I like too much variety to uh, stack that way. Uh, once you get them, you can look to fill these up and watch your stack grow along with it. Uh, we already know that the ASC tubes hold 20 eagles, so that's a given. Fill that one up and you're good to go. And maple tubes hold 25 so again it's just a quick visual count of what you have and these are great for that um, also I like to get the clear uh, these clear tubes you can get these really cheap off Amazon uh, I keep all my my constitutional separated by these um, again it's a set amount you can take a quick visual and see what you have uh, or you can use these short these short stacks I call them um, like you know I keep everything separated walkers 
barbers, etc., etc. Um, so yeah, yeah, plastic tubes, they work pretty good. Uh, filling them up is a great way to stay focused. You start one, you keep building on it, and it's a quick way to visually count and inventory what you have due to the set amount in each tube. Win-win. Containers with capsules. Look, I get it. There are a lot of opponents of buying capsules. Uh, their argument that basically it's a waste of money that could be going towards gold and silver. And uh, I hear you. That's not inaccurate at all. But for me, I pretty much encapsulate everything. So it's just how I go. Um, you know, I want my stuff to stay pristine. And that includes coins and bars. You've got these plastic uh, containers here with the capsules and you can also get these guardhouse boxes as well um, for example this is how I keep my 110s uh, gold and platinum so these are great boxes I don't know if you can really tell yeah there you go you can kinda see see my point there so that's a great way to keep track inventory and all that good stuff and these are one ounce silver uh, except for like three coppers in there but this is how I keep my one ounce silver the bars anyway so, guard houses are a bit on the pricey side, but they're pretty damn durable. And again, you can set a goal to complete a box. Um, I keep several for silver and separate ones for gold uh, and maybe platinum. So, it just works. And last, um, miscellaneous boxes with capsules. Look, if you just can't see yourself spending extra money on plastic or cardboard boxes, don't be afraid to get creative. Uh, I go to the local cigar shop quite a bit and I buy up the really nice cedar boxes uh, that they have, the empties, and he maybe charges me a dollar a box. Now some of these even have felt lining in them to help protect your stuff, so just like the rest of the methods I've gone over in this video, a box of any kind will give you a nice visual of what you have. Um, I keep two ounces in here for example. These are all two ounce coins. Um, yeah, you can just make it a goal to fill it up. For example. You know, once I finish this up, you'll have what? 1, 2, 3, 7, 8, 9, 10, 20, 30. This will hold 30 ounces of silver. So, again, it's a good visual. It's an instant inventory. And uh, you can keep all your stuff pretty nice. So, yep. Cigar boxes. Don't discount them. And that is going to wrap it up for this 83rd edition of the Silver and Gold Stack Attack. And if you made it all the way through to this point, well, kudos to you. I will catch up with you in the next episode, but in the meantime, you know the drill. You know what to do. Damn right. Get stacked. Stay safe, everyone. Be well. I am out of here. Peace, people.